Well, I mean, Wolf is kind of like Palutena. Here we go, though. So I'm wondering why the switch from Hydra. Um, maybe he thought he would be playing the Ditto and they blind picked. Because I believe every every single time uh, you start a set, it is a blind pick for both players. So maybe Hydra thought that he would have to play the Palo Ditto, in which case he picked Wolf. I mean, technically every game one is always a blind pick. Right. Um, but sometimes you know what character your opponent's going to pick. Or you'll ask for him. Um, but but on Wi-Fi, you know, it's a law, it's a lawless land. You know, I'm I can't say I'm surprised, but I will say I'm I'm a little I'm a little surprised actually that uh, that Ray would opt into his banjo. I feel like uh, banjo would be a more annoying character to fight on Wi-Fi than. In oh yeah, absolutely. Because like reacting to any type of like egg egg bird mix-up is going to be a bit annoying. Although I guess Wolf helps leverage that a little bit. Yeah. Not when you have the bird charging at you at Mach 2. That was godlike. What the hell? Ray played like the floor is lava right there and Hydra was just freaking out trying to anticipate when he was going to land and he waited to the very last second to when um, Hydra overcommitted with the jump right there and plowed him with that Wonder Woman. That was ridiculous. My man's shooting the gun, but uh, the gun ain't working too well. Gun, gun is malfunctioning. Oh, don't worry, the boots are working just yeah. fine. They're, they're, they're walking well. Sneaking that bear right in there. I mean, you gotta, you gotta take what you can get. If you can mm -hmm. get in on this banjo, then by all means make every hit count. Now, thankfully, Wolf is a great kind of character for that. He may not be having the fanciest of strings, even when he's got them, but when every hit is packed in so much heat, like, he can afford to lose the zoning war a little bit, as long as he just makes sure he gets those clean hits. And if he can steal stage control away from Ray, that's going to be good. Ray finding his way in pretty well, and he's, he's really uh, just hanging in there in terms of how he's deciding to land every single time. No, he's, he's not. He's waiting for uh, Hydra to jump first, and then he's getting, catching him on his landing every single time. Like, Ray just has such a strong sense of how to control stadium and the way that he retreats as he lays out his projectile hell is very impressive oh, oh, but good on Hydra. he's gonna take the lead i don't know that must have been sweet spot that's crazy hydra's been sneaking these in pretty well being said though down smash gonna even it up pretty nicely <laughs> he really just does it <laughs> like he goes for all this intricate zoning and it just i'll press the c stick I thought, yeah, so the, uh, Hydra's taking the most damage when he's been trying to jump in a lot. I think he should start employing walking a little bit more instead of just trying to charge forward. You know, you have to kind of take it slow against Zoner sometimes. The problem with walking in this matchup, though, is that you have to worry about the, the rain from above. Oh, yeah. Because the, the arc that the uh, rear egg takes alongside the, the other eggs is, is a lot to handle. Plus, right look at that. That's from him trying to approach from below, coming onto the platform. Like you have to go into the skies and force Trey to keep retreating. Like, yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, you're losing the damage war. But it's better than letting Ray come in with all resources. Yo, that empty hop to grab. That was so good by Ray. Ray's kind of mixing it up quite a bit. You know, he's, he's, Wi Fi isn't phasing him. I mean, Ray has won uh, Wi Fi tournaments before, I believe. I think he won a Knifey Wars one time. This, man, this man's no stranger to, to how you know Wi-Fi plays. He's able to keep, he's able to keep himself calm, cool, collected in this situation. Hydra struggling to find a way in. Now he's at pretty much kill percent. I think uh, down throwing up to my kill here. It looks like Hydra's pretty aware of the situation too. He's definitely not trying to approach, but a misspent Wonder Wing could give him the edge that he needs. Oh, he gets dunked on! Oh my God. That's from how deep. deep. Alright, though. Ray's taking game one, though, over Hydra. This banjo pick paying off pretty, pretty well. I wonder if we're going to see a switch back to uh, Palutena for, for Hydra. Let's see what happens. Can, can Ray put it on his back for the, for the, the land roamers? Yeah, we got the surface dwellers versus the uh, the AI. The, the cave, the cave dwellers. <laughs> it's Thursday, boys. 24, 24 hours. It's Animal Crossing. 
You failed, Devin. How do you feel? Devin does not care. He's he is at zero percent risk save, of getting the line, Devin. I, I, I'm he is... chilling, bro. Save the line, Devin. What's the line? I don't care. There we yeah. go. Yeah. He, I think he said it with even less enthusiasm than that before. That was beautiful. That was, that was poetic. <laughs> I don't care. Go on, Devin. Say the thing. All right. So it's good morning, guys. I want to see your uh, HO3K PM10s in chat. Say good morning. Oh, there it is. There's the Palu. All right, let's see how uh, Ray gets a taste of his own medicine on Battlefield. I feel like this gives even more space for Banjo to uh, to zone as necessary. Possibly. Or even not. I feel like he can even ladder if necessary. He gets into a position. Oh, wow. So that that's going to be pretty scary for Hydra and something he's going to have to watch out for. He's trying to land on Ray with Nair quite a bit, and Grenade comes out, what, frame three or so, something like that? It's pretty quick. It pops out in such a way that it's pretty much defending Banjo from any mashing options or any landing options directly in front of him. So Hydra's going to have to be super aware of that. I'd probably opt for more dash attack when Ray opts to do that. The uh, cool thing about these corners being from home is that it lets me, uh, lets me check out things on the computer instantly. Exactly. Um, rear egg has got a 10 frame start up. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 a pretty slow projectile. It's kind of hard, but it, it's reactable. I'd say 10 frames is pretty reactable if you're, zone, if you're playing into Zonia. You're probably going to expect that someone is going to throw a projectile right in your face if they have a projectile character. I mean, to be, like, in all honesty, like, all the buttons in the air aren't too quick. 10 frame moves are not reactable. Human oh, it's like 13, it's like 13 frames, right? No, human reaction is 16 frames, but then you have to add seven because oh, of the okay. input delay. So you're not reacting till like tw frame 22. You ain't doing shit. So though. like you have, yeah, you, have you to hold be prepared the ahead of time. Yeah, you, you can you can right. increase you your reaction grenade. time with anticipation, but like it's not getting down. It's not getting much further down. Mm -mm. Like. I feel like this. I just wanted to bring it up because it's like a good PSA for people yeah, to know. Yeah, absolutely. Like, God damn. Like, unless you're a cyborg, you're not responding yeah. to that in real time. Yeah. Sometimes I think Ray is a cyborg. Oh, uh, absolutely. I don't know. We've never seen him get updated before. He always just him. seems to know about new things. I've seen him crash. I've seen him reboot. I've seen him buffer. I've definitely, I've definitely seen him buffer. Definitely seen him buffer. Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes he runs the same line of code 13 times in a row. <laughs> hey man, low late, high latency connection. <laughs> you gotta be easy on the boy. <laughs> I love Ray. I mean, he's, he's doing driving. just fine right now. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's gonna killing. die right there, but that's with 92% already built onto Hydra. Seems like Hydra hasn't been able to figure out uh, the Utopian Ray Banjo and Kazooie just yet. I love how Ray is using the grenade to kind of cover him on his way in. He's like staying right next to his boy. It's a really derpy approach option, but I mean, it it's an approach option, and it against Palutena, you take what you can get. The arc is so goofy. Like, it's so unpredictable. It's... I wouldn't say that it's unpredictable, but it is something that you need to pay attention to based off of, like, what surface it's hitting because it's not it, yeah. it, it it's not the same every time good football is a lot that you ray is just going in my man hydra is not able to breathe right now he's just trying to desperately find his way in but ray is just playing the keep away game super duper well wow that was that was some good nooch. there we go that was some Got him out good nooch right there by ray Weaving ever so slightly out of Hydra's clutches. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Hydra now trying to desperately, desperately just get Ray off stage. Ray just hanging in there. He's anticipating everything Hydra's doing too. Did you see that jump from Ray? Holy crap. He's big shot. Although, I feel like it's... Uh... It would be disingenuous to assume that Ray doesn't have a good understanding of what to do with his character. Like he has played Polytana almost dedicated. Yeah, for a exactly. Very long time. So you know, it's unfortunately and we uh, didn't even we're... we didn't even see him waver off this character until the release of Joker, and Joker didn't even stick around that long. He that's he the one thing to his Rose Lane too often. Ray Ray is pretty good at sticking with new characters. T picks up. He will take the L's and the, you know, the poopy losses until you know he masters the character and eventually it gets scary. You know, he, he really puts his time, and he doesn't, like, let that affect his ego or anything like that. 
I think he just genuinely enjoys learning, you know, new characters. We'll, we'll see if the banjo makes its appearance in uh, Grants because we saw him pick into his Rosalina, which we haven't seen a lot of in Ultimate. Um, Actually, I think that'd probably be a good idea if if he makes it to Grants. If uh, oh yeah, we got to get Hydra out just yet. <laughs> They're both just spinning. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, baby. Who's buying a valve? Oh, hold up. Hydra trying to solve a puzzle. Instead, he's just going to run away. I, I, that might be the best option, though. Wonder Wing like, is like, so the many... equivalent of, like, telling, asking if you can buy a vowel and then saying Q. And then it being that's, correct. I, that's not how any... I, have you ever watched Wheel of Fortune? I have watched Wheel of Fortune. No one's ever done that. But Wonder Wing just ignores that. Wonder Wing says no. And a yeet, and, and Ray is going to take it. Punch his ticket into Grand Finals and you know Wi-Fi works. I might actually be able to get to bed. Good stuff to Hydra, though, for making...